Hey there, Salt Shore Nation. Today we are gonna review the Yozuri 3D Inshore Twitch Bait. This is a new Twitch Bait uh, on the market. Honestly, one of the most realistic I've ever seen. So I'm really excited to review this today for you guys. I'm gonna go over some pros and cons and show you some on the water footage as well. So let's dive in. All right, so to start off with the pros for this lure, you can see right off the bat that 3D prism finish. Super flashy, you can tell in that rainbow tint in dark water even. This is a really, really lifelike looking lure. Um, so to compare that flash to a mirror lure, MR18, you can see there's really not too much going on with that MR18 compared to that really nice 3D prism finish. And I want you guys to also hear, this is the second pro for this lure, the lifelikeness. In terms of just profile, you can see super realistic design compared to the mirror lure, which is just a little bit of, of a paint and some specs the rattle it's it's much higher pitch than the mirror lure and i'll let you guys listen to the difference here right now So as you can tell, it's a, it's a much higher pitch in terms of that rattle, so definitely a big pro there. And lastly, I wanna say, and you'll see in the underwater footage here shortly, the third pro is definitely the darting action. This lure has one of the best twitches I have seen on the market. The mirror lure tends to just dart forward and stop. This one actually will take little head spins, so it's really, really nice. Now, I do wanna get into the cons for this lure, and as you can see, uh, and this is not an exception just for the Yozuri, but these hooks, these are not fantastic for salt water. And what's disappointing is Yozuri has put some nice hooks on their lures before, some really salt water resistant and sharp hooks, but these are not it. So that's one con that I have with this. The second is the, there's no wobble to it. it when it sinks, uh, it just goes straight down as opposed to a mirror lure that when it would sink, it would give a nice little bit of wobble. Now, the other thing that I don't like too much about this compared to the mirror lure is the price. Uh, this is a nine dollar lure compared to a five or six dollar lure um, depending on where you're getting it from tackle shops uh, so the, again the price point is really much higher for this yozuri now i am going to get into some on the water footage to demonstrate for you guys when you do have this lure exactly how you're going to want to retrieve it to get the most strikes out of it what you're going to want to do is pick your target area let's say it's the tip of that grass and you're going to want to make your cast over to that area and you got to remember this isn't a search bait it's not the kind of bait you're going to want to be burning a retrieve on with this it's a really slow constant retrieve just enough to keep your bait off the bottom but the real action in this lure really lies when you give it those twitches it'll give it a nice little darting action move it through the water really well and the predators will actually hit it on the drop this is a sinking twitch bait so it'll sink really slow in between those twitches so the complete ideal retrieve for this lure is going to look something like this. Just again, that really slow, constant retrieve, it'll wobble in the water, and then you're going to give it those two twitches, and then pause. Let it sit for two, three seconds, it sinks really slow, and then you're going to pick it right back up again, just before it hits the bottom. Slow, constant retrieve, twitch, twitch, pause. And that's usually when the predators are going to strike. So that's going to wrap it up for the Yozuri 3D Inshore Twitch Bait Review. If you guys liked this lure, we are offering it in the Southeastern uh, Discount Program as part of your Insider Club membership for 20% off. So definitely go check it out there if you want to pick one of these bad boys up and save a couple of bucks. But if there's any other products you'd like for us to review, please leave that in the comment section below as well and we will be able to get to the mayor. We're more than happy to go test out these lures so that you guys don't have to waste your hard-earned money on them. We're going to give you pros and cons. Again, we're not sponsored by anybody. These reviews are completely unbiased. Uh, so please leave us products below and we'd be more than happy to check them out for you. Hey there, it's Joe Simons, one of the co-founders here at Salt Strong. And have you claimed your free pack of these irresistible Slam Shady Paddle Tail Lures? We designed this lure with over 12,000 serious inshore anglers, including many full-time guides, to go out there and catch more redfish, more speckled trout, more snook, more flounder, more inshore saltwater slams. And if you want a free pack to try out a sample yourself, click down below right now. We have one free pack per angler while supplies last. Click down below right now.